We are going to explore now another tool that Montaigne's SCM can offer, and it's the four image reconstruction operator. The reconstruction method is not the same as the stereoscopic reconstruction, as it is based on shape from shading. There is no tilt needed. The same image is taken only once, but as the ring detector is divided into four quadrants, the microscope will generate four images at the same time. Then the software uses the difference in illumination to assess the slopes and the heights are integrated from these slopes. Just a short comment, in some electron microscopes, the ring may not be divided into four quarters, but into three thirds. We've created specific tools for these specific microscopes, so don't worry, you can keep watching this webinar. The particularity of this reconstruction method is that it is greatly appreciated because it works with most data. Also, this technique is much more quicker than the stereoscopic reconstruction, especially in terms of acquisition time. With this reconstruction method, you have to keep in mind that in order to get accurate results, meteorologically speaking, you have to calibrate using a calibration standard provided by your instrument manufacturer. So now, let's go back to our operator and use it with mountains. So, just like before, we are going to load our images in the software using the file explorer. Except this time, we are going to select four images instead of two. I'm going to go to operators and click on four image reconstruction. And again, we are going to adjust the settings of this dialog box together. But first, we are going to talk about calibration contexts. Depending on your instrument manufacturer, calibration standards can either be, for instance, a known slope or a known Z height on the standard. We advise that you contact them in order to get more information about this. When you acquire images of your calibration standards, you will create calibration context in Montaigne's SEM. When you're doing this, try to avoid blurry and dark images, in particular when you're dealing with the images you use for your calibration. Afterwards, these calibration contexts can be used at any time in the future. Any calibration context you create will work for samples with the same acquisition context, for, for instance, working distance, voltage, aperture, spot size or magnification. How often should I calibrate? Actually, you will need to create a calibration context for each analysis context you are dealing with. So if you are dealing with a sample acquired in different conditions, you will just have to create another calibration context and to adjust it according to your needs. Therefore, this means that after a while, you will have a lot of calibration contexts and you will be able to deal with any kind of situation. Now back to our operator and to its settings. So, first we are going to decide the organization of our images and it depends on the place of your detector initially. So, either tick one of the two boxes depending on your detector. Most of the time, as with the stereoscopic reconstruction, Suggest is going to be your best friend. It's going to automatically detect where the images should be. Ideally, the, so the images should have the lighted part on the edges, and you should see in the middle, uh, towards the center, the, the dark parts. So here, for instance, in our example, we can see that the light, that is to say, that the direction of the detector is going from this way, this way, this way, and this way. So we can say that our images have been correctly placed. You can also modify the position of your images by modifying their placement here, if you're not happy with the results that the Suggest button gives you. Additionally, you can also use the position from names if you are planning to use this mountain document as a template and repeat the analysis over a certain amount of sample. In my case, I'm going to keep the Suggest button. And last but not least, you can also define the XY scale on your image, just like with the stereoscopic reconstruction. With four quadrants, most of the time, the information is already present in the metadata, so in our case, we won't need to define the XY scale on the images. Then you can choose the reconstruction method. You can either 
choose to optimize form accuracy and apply no filter. In this case, it's more when you're looking for accurate results. Or you can optimize for two-level kernels separated by uh, a step of your choice. In this case, you will pick this option when you're dealing with a surface with very steep slopes, such as a printed circuit, for instance. You can also tick a box, reduce band artifacts. Uh, sometimes when you are making a 3D reconstruction, some bands may appear on the 3D and you can delete them or reduce them by ticking this box. But be very careful because uh, reducing burned artifacts will also have an impact on your, uh, on your surface and it could create a bit of distortion on the edges especially. Additionally, you can choose some post-processing options such as removing the slope or removing the form and you can choose whether you want to apply it on the whole image or only on the edges. If you are like noticing a bit of distortion only on these areas. These operations can be performed with mountains anytime after as a single action, but these options are also included into this operator. Then you can choose the image that is going to be supplied with the topography. You can either choose a combination of the four images, or you can choose to automatically colorize them in order to highlight some elements on your images. You can choose various options of colors here, depending on your taste and what you want to highlight. Sometimes you have better results with some other sets of colors. Then we are going to have a look at the Z calibration. Uh, you can either trust the image gray levels. Most of the time you are going to pick this option since you will not have modified your images. Or you can use the auto recalibrate image black when sometimes you have the contrast or the lighting that has been a bit modified on your images. You can tick this box in order to restore uh, the original gray levels of your images. So now that everything is set up nicely, uh, I'm happy with the settings. So I'm going to click on OK. I'm just selecting the topography before and I click on OK. So let's put this obtained topography in 3D again, like we did with the stereoscopic reconstruction. Go to studies and click on 3D view. Let's put this in full screen and like before, adjust a bit the transparency so that we can see the colors that we have chosen with the previous operator. Note that you can go back in the workflow in order to modify the operator that you have just um, made. And you can choose to change any option, any color for instance, click on OK and everything is going to be refreshed in your Mountains documents. Mm -hmm.